Hey guys, uh, I told you I would make a video <clears throat> on uh, the Cypher software and um, and that's mainly it. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to try to make this quick because I tried to make one earlier and it ended up being an hour long. So uh, I'm going to talk fast, try to anyways, uh, and try not to ramble too much to make this quick. Alright, um, you're going to receive uh, an uprev cable. Um, if you order it, you, if you order it yourself, okay. This doesn't mean you have to do the tune. This just means you have the cable yourself, and so you'll be able to access this stuff all the time, okay. And it will come in a box, and it will come with this piece, and it will come with a cable. And on one end, it's going to have uh, the mini USB. It's going to look something like that, okay. And on the other end, it will have a standard USB. So, you're looking at mini USB and standard USB, right? So, here are the three pieces. This is what you get. These three things. This goes into your onboard diagnostic port. This goes to uh, the computer, the USB port. And this mini USB just goes into the back of the onboard diagnostic port. So, as you'll see, I mean, the plug to the onboard diagnostic port. So, you just match that up. And as you see, I'm plugging that in right now before I plug it into the onboard diagnostic port. Uh, make sure I have it right. It might be backwards. Okay, it was backwards. Now, so that's in. And the only reason I can think of that they, this is not permanently attached is so you can have this in the uh, diagnostic port permanently or for a long time and not have this cord just hanging out down by your feet. You know. Uh, but otherwise... It stays in there pretty well. It doesn't just fall out, you know, but it comes out and in easily. I advise you, obviously, to go ahead and put it in before you plug it in. I just plug it in by fill, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to film it, but you know how to plug this into the diagnostic port. So I'm plugging that in right now to the uh, diagnostic port. Just kind of getting a feel with my hand where that port is, and uh, it only goes in one way don't force it and then I personally just get the cable run it over the top of my gauges and then just get it out of the way where you're not kicking it with your feet and everything and you've got the USB cable right here just find an open USB slot on your computer uh, which I've got one right here and you plug it in okay so there you are it's plugged in. So the first thing you're going to do um, is uh, you're going to open up the Osiris, which is a blue icon here. And this is the software that uh, flashes your ECU. So you see here it's saying searching for, uh, you may or may not be able to read that. Uh, I've got it zoomed in to a certain degree. Uh, if you can't read it, I'm just going to take my word for it. Uh, it says searching for um, ECU, so it's searching for the computer. It needs to uh, at least have the uh, key in the ignition. Uh, 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 K, it's KE, let's see, key on, ignition on. So uh, KOEO, I think that's, that's the acronym. But anyways, the key's in and it's all the way over, but the car's not on. Uh, <coughs> that will get it started. So there we go. I've got the key over there, and it says ECU ready now. It says the cable is connected. Um, it's got uh, my EC part number, which is uh, EV52B uprev flashed ECU. My part number said at first, before I flashed it, it said EV50B. So uh, it's flashed up to a higher um, model, trim model. Uh, I think the Grand Touring, uh, you know, the the, uh, the model, like basically any model that's not a base is going to have cruise control, and that's the only purpose of it. So, uh, for my purposes, uh, to have that ROM file change there. For everybody else, your ROM file, uh, if you already have cruise, will likely be the same number. It will just be the same number with uprev flashed ECU on it after you flash it. It's going to give you your detected ECU voltage. That's just your battery voltage. 
uh, because it, it, it won't flash if it's below a certain voltage just for your own safety so you it, so it won't get through like half the process and die on you uh, but if it's reading 12 volts it, plus it's fine <clears throat> uh, it doesn't take but maybe one or two minutes and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to load the file and you're gonna find your ROM that you got from your tuner okay uh, I'm not gonna flash it obviously but uh, you just come in here and find your ROM uh, I don't actually see that alright that's the ROM okay and you open that and that's gonna open up the flash button that was grayed out and you pop that I'm not gonna flash my ECU <laughs> But uh, that's that, and that's really all this Osiris uh, program here does. It has the cable management tab, just tells you the information about the cable. Uh, it says that Cypher is enabled. It says the uh, license is on my ECU. Before I flashed it, it said license was on the cable, okay? So yours will say license on cable before you actually do the, the uh, flash. That's, complete. that's completely normal, uh, and that's that. So that's it for the Osiris, uh, and the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, Cypher.